everlasting love. Who is excited to be among the living today? Who or who is not excited? Whichever way you want to put it. How is the light? Can you see me clearly? Am I blurry? Am I dark? Let me know. Am I dark? give God all the glory. We're going to appreciate him. We're going to worship him. We're going to show him that we are grateful to be among the living, you know. As the Bible said, that only the living can praise the Lord, right? So as we are among the living, we have to appreciate God. So we give him reasons to always keep us alive. You know, we have to always give God reasons to keep us alive every day more and more to give us a old age, you know. Please go ahead and share this. God bless you, everyone. I love Yahweh. 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 We love Yahweh. We declare the last love for you. Hallelujah. We declare the last love for you. Let me check with our phone if you can see me. Okay. I believe I'm clear. Hallelujah. We declare everlasting There is There is no one like you Hallelujah Alpha Omega There is no one like you How are you today? God bless you those that have connected God bless you mightily it is joy, it is great, it's awesome, it's beautiful, it's wonderful, it is excellent. It is so powerful to be alive today, you understand? It is good to know that God still cares for us. It's so good to know that God loves us. It's good to know that we are not forgotten. It is good to know that your prayers have not been in vain. Your prayers for God to protect you. Your prayers for God to preserve you. Your prayers for God to keep you alive. It is good to know that it is not in vain because you are alive. You are speaking. You, you even came, you know, to watch or to listen. So it's a privilege to be alive always. And to God be all the glory. Hallelujah. Before we go on and proceed thanking God, I came to glorify God, to worship Him, to praise Him. And I believe that you are also grateful. I believe that you are also grateful to God and you will worship God along with me. I believe that you are also grateful. You are thankful. I believe that you are, you appreciate God for hearing you, for wiping away your tears, for, you know, for keeping you alive and preserving you. I so believe that. And therefore we must glorify and worship God together, wherever you are. But before that, as always, I ask God to take over us. I ask God to take over our body, our mind, our soul. Lord Jesus, take over me. I decrease myself for you to increase in me. I empty myself as a vessel. Father, fill me until I overflow. In the name of Jesus Christ, put the right words in my mouth, oh God. Put the right praises, the right worship, the right, just the right word, Father. Put the right thoughts in my mind also, oh God. Take all absolute control over me, Lord Holy Spirit. You are in control. You are the captain, oh God. Therefore, you lead and I will follow. You guide and I will follow. In the name of Jesus, I soak everybody in the blood of Jesus. Anyone that connected this video, this live, I soak them all in the blood of Jesus. I release the grace, the power, the fire of the Holy Ghost upon them and I ask that you will give us a new heart, a heart that will worship you, a heart that will glorify you, a heart that will love you, a heart that is not of man, but it is of God and it's of flesh. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, have your way. 
Hallelujah. Wherever you are, I want you to just think about all the goodness, you know, as a Christian, as a, um, as a believer, we should not focus on the problems. As believers, we should always count the good stuff. You know how it says, count your blessings, name them one by one, and you will know how what the Lord has done for you. So we should not dwell and ponder on the problems. Otherwise, we will never thank God. If we think about the problems we have, we will never thank God. If we think of, about the troubles we have, we will never thank God. If we think about our situation, our pain, we are never going to open our, our, our mouth to say thank you. That's why God always encourages saying that in all things, we, we must thank him. In all things, we must give God the glory. Because like I said, if you count your problems, how are you going to thank God when all you see is problems? How are you going to open up your mouth and say thank you when all you see is sickness, when all you see is maybe poverty, you have no house, you have no food, you have no water. You're not, it's going to be hard to open your mouth. You understand? But you got to also, aside from the problems that we have, aside from the sickness, the pain, or whatever it is that we have, there is something good that we also have. There is something good. There is something good. There is something good that we also have. Aside from the problems and the pains and the situation, guess what you have? You can see me. I'm giving for example, now you just came on now, you can see me, you can hear me, you can speak. You're able to move yourself around. Nobody had to put on clothes for you. Nobody had to put you, you're not at the mortuary. You understand? Aside from the problems you have, you're not in the hospital. You are not in coma. You are not, like, you're okay. We all have problems. Even Jesus Christ had problems. But if you concentrate on the problems alone, you're not going to be grateful to God. You're going to be living in bitterness. You're going to be living in sour. You're going to be living in just sour, sour. Like you, you, Your life will be miserable always. And guess what? You're going to be missing the blessings of God. You're going to be missing the grace of God, the favor of God. You're going to be missing a lot from God because God does not like people that, um, um, what do you call this, um, like ungrateful people. God does not like when we're ungrateful to him. God does not like when we're always grumbling and grumbling and, oh my God, no. Even Jesus had problems. Jesus had more problems when he was on earth than you and I. Yeah. Jesus was opposed in every corner he went. Everywhere he went, he was opposed. Jesus, I mean, like, my dear, you cannot say you can put yourself in the shoes of Jesus because Jesus really had it to the point of death, right? So he had problems too, just like you were, because guess what? He came in a human flesh. As long as you live in a human body, in a human flesh, problems are about or bound to happen. So today... We're going to drop the problem. I'm just boosting you up. I'm just encouraging you that we're going to drop the problem right now at the back burner. We're going to leave the problem behind right now. We're going to shift the problem right now. We're going to concentrate on what we have. We're not going to concentrate on what we don't have. We're not going to concentrate on the problem. We're not going to concentrate on that boss, on that job. No, 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 no. We're concentrating on what God has done for us. And like I said, if you're having a hard time, Remember what God has done for you. You have eyes now. You have your nose now. You are breathing. You have hair. I'm just using my body as an example. You can still hear me or you can hear whoever, whatever it's around you. You understand? When you look around you, you see trees. Thank God for the trees. Thank God for the air. Thank God for the sun or whatever it is that's happening around you. Does that make sense? Hallelujah. So I want you to lift up your voice. We are doing Thanksgiving right now. Thanksgiving, adoration, praise, honor, magnification of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Namasinda ragadoshki bragada. Namakushki bregede. Hallelujah. Let me go ahead and. Ayunuba sonde regede rege boshkaha. Le ma kona raboski bregede. Yes, you are. Yes, Lord. La kona rabasuta yada. 
Father, we thank you today. We thank you, Jesus. You are God most high. I thank you, oh God, for the breath, for the grace, for the favor. Thank you for the opportunity to be alive today. To you be all the glory. To you be all the praise, oh God. Because of you, I am among the living. Because of you, oh God, that I did not die. I did not die like how the enemy wanted me to die. I did not die as the enemy wanted me to die. I thank you for breath. I thank you for the clothes on my back. I thank you that I can still see. I can still hear. I can still feel. I can still touch. I can still walk around on my own. I thank you for my children, for my siblings. I thank you for all my followers. Oh God, anyone connected to this life right now, I give you the praise for their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. May your name alone be praised and be glorified and be magnified. You are the King of glory. You are the Lord of lords. You do marvelous things. You do marvelous things. You do wonderful things in our lives. You are my doctor, my healer, my provider. Hey, Elohim, to you be all the praise. Without you, I will not be here today. Without you, my enemies will be rejoicing, they will be laughing, they will be celebrating. I say, without you, there is no Tina. Without you, there is no whoever is watching, listening right now. Father, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your spirit. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercies. We thank you for your kindness. We thank you for the oh Laba Santa Ragada. We thank you for changing our life, changing our story. Thank you for molding our destiny. Thank you for always guiding us and leading us and directing us. Oh God. Thank you, oh God. You are worthy to be praised. You are God most high. You are the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. Somebody open your mouth and thank God. Just thank him whatever you are. Just worship him wherever you are. Exalt him wherever you are. Call him beautiful. Call him marvelous. Call him great. Call him excellent. Call him wonderful. Call him magnificent. Call him powerful. Call him marvelous. He is excellent. There is none like him. There is no other God like him before him, beside him, after him. He is the lamb upon the throne. He is the lamb that was slain for you and I. He is the lamb that was slain for me. Because of me, his blood was shed because of you his blood was shed because of me lord you were humiliated you were humiliated because of you you were put to shame because of you you were flogged you were spat on hey you were nailed on that cross because of me who am i for you to be so mindful of oh god I am nobody but just a mere person. But because of me, you went through so much for me. You sacrificed everything for me, oh Lord Jesus. You sacrificed all for me. You sacrificed all for me because of your love, because of your love for me, because of your love for your people. Father, you did not hesitate to sacrifice Jesus for us, Lord. We want to say thank you. You are the most high God. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. I am that I am, mighty God, beautiful God. I want you to open your mouth and begin to thank God. There is something, there is a lot more to thank God for than to complain about. There is a lot more to thank God for than to complain, to complain about. There is more to thank God for. There is more to glorify God for. There is more to worship God for. There is more to praise God for. I want you to open up your mouth and look around your surrounding. Whatever you see around you, begin to thank God. Father, I thank you for the sky. I thank you for the light. I thank you for the sun. I thank you for the chair. I thank you, oh God, for this camera to do this video, oh God. I thank you that I can still open up my mouth. I thank you that I did not wake up at the hospital. I did I did not wake up crippled. I did not wake up sick. I did not wake up in pain. I did not wake up paralyzed. I said, I did not wake up in any trouble. Oh God, thank you for fighting for us as we went to sleep. Thank you for speaking for us as we went to sleep. Thank you for redeeming us as we went to bed. While men slept, while men slept, the enemies came and they sowed evil seed. While we slept, the enemies came to kill us. While we slept, the enemies came to trouble us. But no, God being the God he is, God being the great he is, God being the mighty one he is, God being the God that he's everywhere at the same time. While you were sleeping, while I was sleeping, God was there with you. God was there with me. God was there for his children. And he has preserved us all. And the devil could not celebrate. You know, whenever we are sad, 
that is a, that causes for a celebration for the enemies. That is why the Bible says, rejoice, always rejoice evermore. Rejoice evermore. Rejoice evermore. And the Bible also said, this is the day the Lord has made. You and I shall rejoice and be glad in it. The Bible encourages us to rejoice evermore, to always be, you know, to always be in a, like, in a rejoice mode or state. We should always be in a rejoice, like, you know, mode, because whenever we are sad, the enemy rejoices. Whenever we are crying, the enemy is rejoicing. Whenever we are, like, we are moody, the enemy is rejoicing. So, the, God, God gave us the Bible, the manual to life. The manual to salvation, the manual to every problem and circumstance, and not for any other reason, but it's for our edification. Does that make sense? I want you to go ahead and share this wherever you are. God bless you. God gave us the Bible for our edification. He says, rejoice. Yes, rejoice evermore. Always rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. Um, fear not, fear not, fear not. The Bible is, 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 is like these are the things it's always, but the God always told us in his word. Love, 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 love. You understand? You will see this word repeated many, many times because he knows that once we are love, we are loving people. He knows that once we are rejoicing, he knows that once we don't fear, the, the enemy cannot get to us. The devil cannot penetrate. The devil cannot rejoice over us. How can the, the enemy rejoice over you when you are rejoicing? The devil cannot rejoice with you because you are rejoicing. His plan is for you not to rejoice. So when you are not rejoicing, then he is rejoicing over you. But when you are rejoicing, you are rejoicing over the enemy. When you are fearing not, hey, when you are fearing not, he is afraid. When you are fearing not, when you are bold, when you do not fear, he is afraid because he doesn't akan no mahazigaraga doza. He kumpa na surahande brehe kotonde regede. Because when you are not afraid, he becomes afraid of you. When you are not afraid, when the devil sees that you are not afraid, he becomes afraid of you. He becomes afraid of you. So the Bible, God is always telling us, rejoice, rejoice, my children, rejoice. No matter the circumstances, be excited, be excited, re just, just rejoice, rejoice in the Lord always. Fear not, fear not, fear not, do not be afraid, do not be afraid. Why did the Bible say always be afraid? Why is it that the Bible say, did not say always be afraid? No, because fear is not of our Lord Jesus Christ. Fear is not of Yahweh. Fear is not of God. Fear is not of the Holy Spirit. Fear is not of the angels of God that we have. You understand? Yes. Yeah, so we need to be fearless for our enemies to fear us. We need to be fearless for our enemies to fear us. I hope somebody caught that. Hallelujah. So we must be fearless for the enemies to fear us. We must rejoice to shut the mouth of the enemies always. I want you to open up your mouth and begin to glorify your master in heaven. In fact, he's right beside you. A lot of people, they think that God is somewhere up in the space. and People think that God is so far from them. People think that God is a billion. I don't know how they think, but you know what? I used to think like that too, man. I used to think that God is never near me. I used to think that God is so far from me. God is right where you are. He's right there with you. You have his spirit in you too. You have his angel, you have Jesus, you have the Holy Spirit, you have God, you have the angels of God. Man, you are fully backed up by heaven. You are fully backed up by heaven. Therefore, you have every reason to rejoice forevermore in the Lord. You have all reason to be excited. You have every reason to magnify the Lord. You have every reason oh, to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Yahweh. Thank you, Elohim. Thank you, El Shaddai. Hey, somebody, ha, 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 ha. 
La makanda ya na 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 na. Rabba kanda ya da bose karakapande begedeya. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we celebrate you. Lord, we magnify you. Lord, we exalt you. You alone is God. You alone is mighty. You alone is excellent. You alone is beautiful. You alone is magnificent. You alone is holy. You alone is righteous. There is no other God like you before you, beside you, after you. You are Yahweh all by yourself. Omnipresent, omnipotent God. I am that I am, my Lord and my God. I have to get the scripture that I'm talking about. First Thessalonians 5 16. It's a it's a two word. In the King James Version, it's a two word. Two word. Rejoice evermore. Rejoice evermore. In other translations, we say always rejoice. Always be joyful. Two words, rejoice evermore. If you need to forget every other scripture verse, don't forget this one. First Thessalonians chapter 6, verse, sorry, chapter 5, verse number 16. Rejoice evermore. Always be like, you know, always be in excitement. Our Lord is a faithful God. Our God is awesome God. Our God is a holy God. Mighty God, you are the most high God. I don't know, we worship you. I don't know wherever you are, but I pray that you're able to, to, to just open up your mouth just to say thank you. Thank you for another day. Thank you for another minute. Thank you for another second. Thank you for another breath. As we are speaking now, as we are speaking now, people are going through things. Oh, as we are speaking now, people are facing, facing troubles. People are facing it to the point they cannot even open up their mouth to say anything to God. As we are talking now, I always like to give example. Somebody is being kidnapped. Somebody is being raped. Somebody is being shot. Somebody is being uh, uh, um, executed. Somebody is being, uh, what do you call it, stabbed. As we are talking now, somebody is gasping for air. Somebody is in a coma. Somebody is in tumor. Somebody just said, something is happening to somebody right now. Somebody got into accident. However, accident. Somebody just fell down and broke some part of their body. Always remember this. That whatever you are doing, somebody is not having it as you are having it. Whatever you are doing, as you are laughing, somebody don't have that opportunity to laugh. As you are smiling, Man, somebody is caged. Somebody is kidnapped, tied up. You are good. You are good. And your love endures forever. Somebody worship the Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. La basson tere katala braga dish ke raba do se ne 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 ya. Alemba zuka raga badosh ke ne 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 ya. Hallelujah. 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 Hey. Ya gado ya gadara gada. The NLT version of First Thessalonians five six says, "Always be joyful. Always be joyful." If you are looking to silence your enemies, if you're looking to shut the mouth of your enemies, you have to rejoice because as you do so, it closes their mouth. It silences them. You understand? Because like I said earlier, and the Bible says it, when we are rejoicing, it gives no room for the enemies to rejoice over you. When you are all joyful and excited, it gives no room for the enemies to rejoice over you. Guess what it does? He rather go, he works harder. He will go and try to do more to you. He will go and try to do more to you, but he will come and see you rejoicing. And you are rejoicing ever more and ever more. So I need you to open your mouth and begin to glorify God wherever you are. Don't be those ungrateful ones. Don't call yourself, oh, I'm a Christian. Don't call yourself, I'm a child of God. Don't call yourself, oh, I'm a Christian, I'm a child of God, I love Jesus. And you can't even spend five minutes thanking God. The moment you say, you know what? Sometimes you will promise God, Father, today I'm going to thank you all day. Today I'm going to thank God today. The moment you open your mouth to begin to thank God, then you will put prayer requests in it. 
Then you begin to add prayer requests. Hmm. Father, as today, hmm. in the Father, I need this. Hey, you just promise that you will thank you today. You just promise that today is all thanksgiving today. But the moment you open your mouth, come and see your prayer request list. Come and see the list. Hakushka pragata magada. So Bible, God is always encouraging us to rejoice. Rejoice evermore. Always be joyful. Always be excited. Always be bubbly. Always be fearless. When you are fearless, your enemies are afraid of you. When you are rejoicing, they have nothing to say. They will come and they will be like, uh 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 uh. Don't let the enemy take your joy. It is you are the one that's supposed to be rejoicing. It is you and I, we are the one that's supposed to be rejoicing. So we need to put the problems behind. We need to put that situation behind. We need to put that hatred behind. We need to put that burden behind. No, rejoice evermore. And as you are rejoicing evermore, as you are praising God, guess what? Guess what happens eventually? If Eventually the problem, the situation, eventually that work, eventually whatever that was stressing you, it's almost like it's a stress we leave. It's a stress we leave. It is a stress we leave. It is a stress we leave. It is a stress we leave. So we are still thanking God for another day. We are still thanking God for a beautiful day. We are still thanking God for a beautiful, wonderful, sunny day. Whether it is snowing by your side or it is sunny or cloudy, my dear, don't let the weather be a candle rakatora. Do not go according to the weather. Do not change your mood according to the weather. Do not change your attitude according to the weather. If it's snowing, don't be snowy too. No. Do not change your mood or your attitude toward God according to the weather. <laughs> oh, our God is a good God. He has allowed us to see today. And therefore, we should always glorify him. You understand? We should always magnify him, no matter the situation, no matter the circumstance. Because whenever we look up to the situation, the situation becomes our God. Whenever we ponder on the situation, whenever we look up to the situation, whenever we think, okay, just hold on, hold on. Let's, let's analyze this. You know, I like to always put things in practice. Let your problem be your focus, okay? Just... Just keep thinking, okay, let's see, um, let's see. Let's say you need money for rent, okay? You need money for rent. Just think about it all day. Think about it all day. Day one, gone. You still haven't paid the rent. Day two is gone. You're still thinking about the rent money. Day three, you're still thinking about the rent money. Day four, you're still thinking about the rent money. What? Meanwhile, God is like, ha, huh, if this person would just get up and worship me and i will make a way for them if this person will thank me even though they don't have it meanwhile who knows sometimes god has an angel right beside us god has people that he says to make you know to help us but we're always blowing our covers because we make the problem the god as you are spending time and hour and days thinking about that rent money you have made the rent problem your god and guess what? That problem will never be solved because the rent money or the problem cannot replace God. Has no power, has no power, no power, nothing, zero, nada. I hope it makes sense to somebody. Whenever you zoom the problem, you zoom, the problem becomes big, 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 big. And then eventually it takes up the whole body. It takes up your whole mind. It takes over your whole, it takes over your life. And many people have gone mad thinking about their problems. Many people have lost it. Many people have ended up in a psychiatric home. Many people have ended up taking medication because of thinking, because of worrying, because of worrying. While the Bible has told you and I, I'm talking about those that call themselves Christian. When the Bible has told you rejoice evermore, he said rejoice evermore, always be joyful, no matter what, just rejoice. Be grateful. Always rejoice. I want you to open up your mouth. We're going to magnify the Lord. In fact, we are still magnifying Him. We are exalting Him. He is holy. He is righteous. Let me go ahead and pose the scripture for us. 
So this is um First Thessalonians five sixteen. The NLT is what I'm posting. It says um, what does it say? Always be joyful. Okay, always be joyful. And then the King James version, when we read it, it says rejoice evermore. The King James version is two words, two words. Rejoice evermore because God knows the benefit of us rejoicing evermore. God knows the benefit of why He's always telling us to be fearless. Be fearless. Be fearless. He said, Fear not, fear not, fear not, fear not, fear not. I don't know how many times the fear not has been repeated in the Bible, but I believe it's a lot of times as I read the Bible. Okay? So I just wanted to get you heated up. I want you to forget about your problem. Forget about that. I don't know. I have problems too. I'm sitting here. Who don't have problems? As I said earlier, Jesus Christ came, he had problems. So let us all drop the problem. Let us all not concentrate on the problem because we make them the God. I want you to forget anybody that you have in your heart that you have not forgiven also. If there's anybody in your heart that you are harboring, if there's anybody you have in your heart that you're holding grudge on, hey, my God, my God. A lot of people, they are complaining. God is not answering their prayers. God is not answering my prayers. God is not. How can God answer your prayers when he has asked you for one thing? Forgive your neighbors. Forgive your brother, your sister, your mother. Forgive your uncle, your auntie, your friend. You see, the thing with God, when God asks you to do one thing and you don't do that thing and you go to God for something, man, he's waiting for you to do that one thing he told you to do maybe a year ago. Until you begin to do that one thing before he will speak again. That's how God is. When you do what he told you to do, he's not speaking again. He's not. If he told you to go fetch water and you are not fetching the water or you did not go to fetch the water and you are asking God, oh God, um, oh, how can I drink water? Oh Father, I need water to drink. I need water to drink. Meanwhile, he told you a specific place to go and fetch the water. But no, no, no. You want to be fetching water in your own way. And that's how we miss it always. I want you to look around your surrounding. In case you don't remember what God has done for you. I want you to look around your home, your office, your car. Wherever you are sitting or wherever you are placed right now. And begin to thank God for all the things. I always say, just mention the things you have around you. I see for me, I'm looking at the sky. I'm looking at the sun. I'm looking at the TV. I'm looking at just begin to thank God. Father, we bless your name. Uh. Lord, we exalt you. Uh, and say it from your heart. Say it from your heart. Say it from your heart. When you do this from your heart, you feel the presence of God. Because, uh, you know, God is always around us. We are not feeling him tangibly. Because we are not doing the things that pleases him. We are not doing the things that pleases him. We're always asking and asking and asking and asking. This is a moment that we are saying, Lord, we are thank we are thankful. We are thankful even for the dreams. Whenever you dream, God is revealing to you things. God is always showing you things to come. Things are to happen. Things he's giving you direction. Even your dreams, you gotta thank God for them. Just imagine you are not hearing God audibly. You are not dreaming either. My God, it's like you'll be living in darkness. It's like you're living in a hole in a pit. Nowhere to turn. Father, we thank you even for dreams, oh God. We thank you for the blessings of our children, of our spouse. We give thy, oh God, all the glory and all the praise. Be thy exalted, almighty God. Be thy exalted, oh Yahweh. Be thy exalted, oh Yahweh. Be thy exalted, Elohim. Be thy, I'm trying to get the worship. Okay. Nashki bragadushki rande bazuza ragadosha. Nazubre ketere ketere boska handa. Aliba azuga dire brahandoshke ragadosha. Lord, we worship you. Le kuso printe reketeya. If you gotta speak in tongues, speak in tongues. Your native language, English. Whatever is it that you can exalt God with. We gotta make God happy always. Just imagine God is smiling because of you. Just imagine God is, like God is smiling. Like, I, like I don't know. Like, I always say, Father, help me to make you smile. I want to be the one to make you smile. I know it sounds like a foolish thing. But if you can make God to smile for even one second. If you can just make God to. Man. 
Father, I thank you for my children. Uh, I thank you for my spouse. Uh, I thank you for my siblings. I thank you for everyone connected to this life right now. Uh, I bless you, oh God, for them, their body, their soul, their mind. Uh, thank you, God, that we are still alive among the living, oh God. Uh, may your name be praised. Uh, oh, there is no place for argument. You are only God. You are Yahweh Elohim. Uh, you are God all by yourself. Just imagine if we gather together always and praise God and worship God and exalt him and thank him we don't even need to pray to if we don't need to pray for any prayer request because as we are praising God it's like a prayer whenever we are praising God it's a prayer in itself and I always say this whenever we are thanking God it is a prayer in itself as we are celebrating God it is a, it is a prayer in itself and we don't need to go, go to God and God knows our problem. God knows my problem, your problem. We don't need to go to God again. Oh God, you know I need this one. God, you know I need this car. God, you know I need these shoes. God, you know I need this handbag. No, we don't need to go to God to be praying and praying. You, we need to go to God and thank him, thank him. And he knows that we need the things that we need. And his will will be done in our lives. Namaskar a glorious God, hallelujah. I worship you, Yahweh. You are the King of kings. You are the King of kings. God is... Just worship the Lord. You can worship Him with the, with the worship song going on. You are... A miracle worker, yes, Lord. You are the miracle worker, Yahweh. You are the way maker. You are excellent, Lord. You are marvelous, Lord. You are beautiful, Lord. You are wonderful, Lord. You are mighty, Lord. You are glorious. You are glorious, Lord. Thank you that we are not hungry. Hey. A glorious God, somebody worship him. Hey, Yarababashka da 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 da. Nasuko raga do se reggae de ne baba shanta na 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 na. Le konde reggae do ske branda rando ske hada. Oh, I was was lost, Yahweh, but now I'm found. Who has been found? You have been found. I have been found. But now we sing amazing grace. You are amazing grace. Jesus, thank you for your grace. Thank you for your grace, Lord. Thank you for your grace, Father. Thank you for your grace, Lord. Jesus, thank you for your grace. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercies. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for your love. Oh, we praise thee. We praise thee. We praise thee. Mighty God, we worship you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. You are the God of war. You are the unquenchable fire. The unquenchable fire. The all-consuming fire. You are the God of Joshua. God of Moses. God of Daniel. Hey, God of Jacob. Abraham. God of Shadrach. Meshach and Abednego, God of Elijah, God of Elisha, I am that I am is your name, mighty God is your name, we worship you, oh God, you are the king of kings and the mighty one, you are our advocate, oh God, our spokesman, our redeemer, the great high priest, the bridegroom, oh, the boss, the chief cornerstone, the mighty I am that I am, Jehovah, Jehovah, Yahweh is your name, hey, Elohim is your name, El Shaddai is your name, omnipresent is your name, omnipotent is your name, Alpha is your name, Omega is your name, first is your name, last is 
your name. None can stand before you against you. None can contend against you. None can war against you. That is the God that I serve. He is my God and my Lord forever and ever. He is my provider, my redeemer, my savior, my doctor, my healer. Hey, my judge, my protector. He gives us maximum security. What more do you want from God? God is always there for you and I. He said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. He said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. He said, I will not leave you nor forsake you. I will be with you wherever you go. I will be with you wherever you go. I will be with you wherever you go. He said, I will not leave you nor forsake you. Now tell me, has God forsaken you? Because you will not be hearing me. If God has forsaken you, you will not be hearing me. And then the same First Thessalonians 5. Verse number, um, you know what? Let me just read out. Verse 18, it says, Be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belongs to Christ. So I was saying it, I was quoting it, but I'm just now giving you the scripture of it. And it is the same scripture that we read earlier. First Thessalonians chapter number 5. So verse 16 says, always be joyful. Never stop praying. Hi. Never stop praising. Never stop worshiping. Never stop thanking God. Always be joyful. Never stop praying. Be thankful in all circumstances. Circumstances. For this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. I'm going to go ahead and get another translation for us. The same way I can. Okay, let's go ahead and look at another translation. Let's look at the Passion Translation, which says, Let joy be your continual feast. Make your life a prayer. And in the midst of everything, be always giving thanks. For this is God's perfect plan for you in Christ Jesus. So this is a commandment. This, this sounds here is a commandment because God knows how important it is for the enemy to come and snatch us away whenever we are moody. It is easy for the enemy to enter into your mind. It is easy for the enemy to enter into your brain, it, to get into you when you were in a sad state. It is easy for the enemy to enter into you whenever you are in a sad state. It's so easy. Because you're already in a negative mood. You're already in a negative state. So the enemy can easily come and enter in and begin to make things worse more than it was before. But when you are always rejoicing, when you are rejoicing ever more, when he comes in, nothing moves you. Not, like nothing moves you. Like you are not moved. You are not moved by anything. But you are moved quickly when you are already sad, when you're already moody, when you're already angry, when you're already like miserable. It is so, it's easy for you to just, I'm telling you, man, like I know what I'm talking, I'm talking, as I'm talking, I'm talking from experience. Man, when like, when I'm moody already, when I'm like, when I'm moody already and somebody, you probably, you will come and say, like, let's say I'm moody, okay? I'm moody. And you come and say something. I would take that thing so offensive, but it's not how, like, you look at everything evil. <laughs> when you're already feeling sad, you look at things the wrong way. Even something that is good for you, your mind will just twist it into the wrong form. But when you are rejoicing, when you are happy, when somebody comes and says something bad to you, you don't even look at it as bad. Like, you don't even think, like, like I don't know how to put it. I know like it's hard. I, Holy Spirit, help me. Well, okay. Let me put. Let, let, let me just put in a simple form. When you are always rejoicing, when you are excited, when you are happy. Like right now, I'm in a very good mood. Right now, I'm in a very good mood. I'm in a high mood right now. Somebody can come and tell me, "Hey, Tina, you you know that you are stupid, right?" I'm giving an example. Man, that's not gonna move me because 
I know I'm not stupid. Because I know God did not make me stupid. I know that I am not stupid. Does that make sense? I would just smile at them like this. I would just give them like, I would probably say, thank you, God bless you. But now when I am sad, when I am moody, when I'm already angry, let somebody come and tell me I'm stupid. Man, I'm going to chew that person up, eh? I'm going to chew them and spit them up. I'm going to be enraged more. Who knows? I may throw some soy words or whatever. That's why God doesn't want us to be in the trap of the enemy. So he's always saying that, saying that we should rejoice. In fact, this is his plan for us that we always rejoice in any situation. We always should be excited and no matter the situation. I hope it makes sense what I said, the example. Because it's very true. Just imagine I'm already sad though, really, hold on. You that is watching me right now, just imagine you are already sad, you're already angry. Just imagine that you're already upset. Just imagine you're already moody. And somebody comes and say a word to you. Somebody, somebody can even come to you and say, oh, good morning, brother, good morning, sister. And you're gonna be looking at the person, what's so good about this morning? Like really, what's so good about this morning? Like what's so good about today? Please don't tell me no good morning. I'm, there's no good in today, okay? I'm not in a good mood. You begin to go crazy. But when somebody, when you're in a joy state, when you're in a good state, when you're in a happy state, when you're in a joyful state, and that person comes and says, good morning, brother, good morning, sister. Oh, good morning. How are you doing today? Oh, how is the family? How, like, you're going to be so excited because you're already in a good mood. You're going to be so excited because you're already in a good mood. You're already in the presence of God. Whenever you are in a good mood, you're rejoicing. It is the command of God. You're obeying God. Whenever you are smiling, you're actually obeying God. Whenever, whenever you are happy, you're obeying God. Because God says we should always be happy. We should always be rejoicing. And like I said earlier, when somebody comes, you're all moody, all angry, all sad, or you're worrying about your rent. You worry about your children, or you worry about your job, you worry about your car, you worry about that one, that one, this one. Somebody comes and say, ah, good morning to you, brother. You're going to be like, what's so good about this morning? Eh? What's so good? Who told you I'm in a good mood? I'm not in a good mood, please. Don't tell me good morning here. I'm, who told you today is a good day? Like, man, you're going to be... <laughs> you're going to be like... Like, you're going to be like, who told you I'm in a good mood? What's good about today? What's good about this afternoon? What's good about this morning? And that's how the devil enters. Father, we worship you, Lord. I worship you, Jesus. I cannot do without you. I cannot do without you, Yahweh. That's why we must thank God always. We are not here by our might, by our strength. There is nothing, nothing that you have acquired because of your strength. Nothing that you have acquired because of your might. Nothing that you have acquired because of your power. What is power to you? Who made power? Did you make power? Did you create a power? Did you create a strength? Did you create a breath? Did you create a body? Did you make yourself? You didn't. So in all things, give thanks to God. In all circumstances, thank God. Whatever you have, it is by the grace of God. Oh, I thank God for those who are watching. God bless you for your life. I thank God for your family. I thank God for your children if you have any. I thank God for your bread. I thank God for whatever that you have. I am grateful to God unto you for coming on to worship him, to praise him, to honor him, to acknowledge him, to celebrate him. You understand? God is pleased with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, Father, we cannot do without you. I cannot do without you. I am nobody without you. In fact, who am I without you? Where would I be without you? Where can I be without you? Where can I go from your presence? Where can I go from the presence of God? Yahweh is your name. He is I am that I am. 
He is a mighty God, the excellent God, the Prince of Peace, everlasting God, the Prince of Peace, everlasting God. Le bazuka randa brakade ragado sharababa. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Let's worship the Lord. Ayarabo shayagadada. Mighty warrior. Great in battles. Jehovah is your name. Go ahead and put the scripture for us. I like to put it there because not everybody has their Bible, so they will read it to know that I am not making up what I'm saying. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Mighty warrior, great in battles. Jehovah is his name. He is the mighty God of war. He is the mighty warrior for you and I. Jehovah is his name. Uh, he fights for you and I every day. That's why every day we need to thank him. He's always warring for you and I. He's always fighting for you and I. He's always making sure that we are good. We are great. We are good. We are protected. Uh, God is the mighty God of war. He is the mighty God of war. Oh, Jesus. You are the healer that holds my love, Master Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord, I thank you for being our pillar. Thank you for being our fortress. Thank you for being our pillar. Thank you for being our fortress. Thank you for holding us. Uh. Thank you for carrying us in your palms. Uh. Thank you for watching us closely so that the devil does not penetrate to us. The holds my love. Somebody thank God wherever you are. Somebody thank God wherever you are. Somebody thank God wherever you are. And may God touch your heart to share this broadcast in the name of Jesus. Pillar, the host, my life. You don't need to have a good voice to sing to God. You don't need to have, uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, a singing voice. God made you the way you are. God gave you the voice. So sing as it is. As I come here, I sing though my voice is cracking. I'm singing not to you, but I'm singing to God and God is not complaining. Huh? Though I come here, my voice is not perfect like other people that have nice and beautiful voices. Huh? To God, my voice is beautiful because it's not the voice that counts. Huh? It is the heart that counts. Huh? It is the heart that counts, the thoughts that count. It is not that sweet voice. Ah, 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 ah. The voice does not move God. It's the sound out of the voice. We love you, Jesus. Somebody say, I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Somebody worship Yahweh. We love you, Holy Spirit. Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Yahweh. Call him Yahweh. Call him Elohim. Call him El Shaddai. Call him Adonai. Call him Jehovah. Call him Excellent One. Call him Beautiful. 
Call him marvelous, call him halal, call him palat, alibas kun ya. If you are grateful to be alive today, I say magnify the Lord wherever you are. Say thank you, Jesus. Without you, I would have been dead in my sleep. Without you, I would not have woken up today. Without you, I would have been crippled. Without you, I would have been sick. Without you, I would have been at the hospital. Without you, I would have got into that accident. Without you, when I got into that accident, I would have died. Lord, I say without you, my children would have died. Hey, thank you, Holy Ghost. Yeah. Look how much people are dying. Nah, ha, ha, ha. Look at the storms going on. Look at the hurricanes going on. Look at the natural disasters going on. Taking people like nothing. Taking people like air, like straws. But you are still among the living. What do you have to say to God? The one that loves you dearly. The one that's always telling you he loves you, but you are so busy not listening to him. Yeah. Somebody worship the Lord. Somebody praise Him. Somebody pour your heart out to Him. Pour your heart out to Him. Show Him that you are grateful. Pour your heart out to the Lord. Pour your heart out to Him. Pour your heart out to Him. Pour your heart out to the Lord. He is right beside you. He's there with you. He's right there. He's right there. If you get in Dalamashka Diagabushka. You see the joy that it puts, like if you see the joy, as you see the joy just calling on his name alone. You see the joy as I praise him alone. Ah, it's peaceful. Yahweh, call him Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh. Be thankful in all situations, in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. So if you are a child of God, you believe that you are a daughter, a son of God, you believe that you are a Christian, you believe that you are a child of God, this is a commandment from God to you. Be joyful always, always rejoice, always be thankful, no matter the matter, no matter the matter, no matter the matter. You understand? No matter the matter. Therefore, there is no matter. Yahweh. As you are worshiping God, God is pleased with you. God is pleased with you because God is looking for worshipers. God is looking for true worshipers. The ones that he said they will worship him in spirit. They're like, like, you're not worshiping him because somebody's standing beside you to prove that you are worshiping God. You are not worshiping God because somebody told you to do it. No, don't even do it because I'm telling you to do it. You're doing it because you really love God. Because you're really doing it from your heart. There will be no reward for you if you're worshiping God for a show. There will be no reward for you if you're worshiping God for doing his sake. Because everybody's doing it. A lot of people have been wasting years and time and time worshiping. They call, you know what? To you, you think you're worshiping God. But to God, my dear, you're not doing nothing. 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 Forever you will be the Lamb upon the throne. He is the Lamb upon the throne. He is the Lamb that was slain. He is the Lamb that was slain. He is the Lamb that was slain for me, for you. Jesus did not die for me alone. He died for everybody, everyone that accepts Jesus Christ, everyone that believes that the Son of God believe in the son of God forever you will be oh Yahweh 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 Nano no say in the money for the many 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 oh so the rain they are oh so the river they oh say but else and they are 
Kama su koshe manushaya. Hey, somebody sing praises to his name. Oh, praises to your name. I'm just rejoicing in the Lord. My enemies will not come and catch me being grumpy. My enemies are not coming to see me sad. My enemies are not coming to see me ungrateful. No. Uh, 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 uh. I have all reason to glorify God. In all situations, all circumstances, I must lift up his name higher than ever. Oh, Lord. For your name is great and greatly to be praised. He is worthy to be praised. Jesus, you are worthy to be praised. Adonai, you are worthy to be praised. Adonai, you are worthy to be praised. Jesus, you are worthy to be praised. Among the other gods, you alone is worthy, Yahweh. For your name is great and greatly to be praised. Oh, for your name is great. Somebody worshiping God, I hope so. Somebody thanking God. Is somebody loving God? Is somebody appreciating God? Is somebody honoring God? Is somebody standing up for God? Is somebody clapping for God? Hey, clap for Jesus. about all his goodness in your life. Just worship him. Oh, for your name is great. Yes. Now we love you. I love you, Jesus. We declare the last for you. So go mad at Rabazi Zarambe Kete Kete I really, really, really love you. I really love you. I love you, Jesus. We declare everlasting love. His love is everlasting. There is no price to his love. There is no conditions to the love that God has for you and I. Declare that you love him and truly do. Declare from your heart that you love him. Just picture him right now seated on his throne. Picture him on his throne. Picture the Lord Jesus on his throne. I really, really, really love you. I declare. Don't think about anything else. Think about Jesus. Because I love you. I declare my everlasting love for you. I love you, Jesus. Father, we love you. Jesus, we are declared. We are declared. We love you. Declare our everlasting 
Declare your love for the Lord. Declare your love for the Lord. Declare your love for the Lord. Declare your love for Jesus. He loves you unconditionally. The Lord. I love you, Father. Thank you for everything you do for me, Lord. Thank you for everything you do for me. We are worshiping the Lord. Just worship along. Just praise along. Honor along. Be thankful along. Don't be left behind. I follow me. Who is you like him? Keeping God. Who is like him? Bring somebody that is better than God to me. Show me who is better than God. Show me who is greater than Yahweh. Show me who is more loving than Jesus. Somebody show me somebody. He kanamushka adabaga handia. Le ponde regadoski braka tonde regaduski regede. Una ragadoski braga dora gade rahana nama. Le kune selema kunana nama sinde reka ponde ragazonde. Zagadeli bama sublaha. There is no one like you. He is the covenant keeping God. He is the promise keeper. He has been he has kept his promise to keep you alive. Just imagine God thinking about you. Of all the millions of people in this world, God has you in his thoughts. God has you in his mind. God has you in his thoughts. Na kanda na na masandosh ki brahado se kere bedesh. Na no si brakara ba usun to na magata ragata. Aonzi ga ya mahande ga duja ragata. Oli brazi no ni kanda ye ba si para bazanta ragata. He is the covenant keeping God. He is the promise keeping God. He is the miracle working God. He is the I am that I am. He is the one that we trust, we hope in. He is the one that we should love. He is the one that we should be giving all our time to. Who is like you, Yahweh? Hey! I saw you were Alpha. You are Omega. The first and the last, beginning and the end. Nasi brande rebo santa rega babosko braga di rega hansu. Oh yes, Lord, we love you, Father. Listen, if you have to close your eyes to be in the spirit, close your eyes. Don't focus on me. Don't watch me. I want you to get lost in the presence of God yourself. Don't just keep your eyes open and and, and be missing out. I can't worship God with my eyes open. It's a distraction. Yes. It takes me out of the spirit. And I need to, I need to, I need to be there. Namush kubra gadush Le mo sayanda bayanda ragabe There is no one like Jesus. 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 I said there is no one like Jesus. There is no one like my Jesus. There is no one like my Jesus. There is nobody like my Jesus. There is no one. Oh, there is no one. There is no one. There is no one. There is no one like our Lord. Jesus is our Lord, our personal Savior. Oh, Father, thank you for washing away our sins, O oh God. Thank you for taking away our sins, oh God. Thank you for healing us whenever we felt ill. Thank you for healing us whenever we felt sick. Thank you for the testimonies, the countless testimonies, even including right now. Thank you for all the deliverances you have delivered us from, oh God. 
Thank you for delivering us from accident, from food poisoning, from death, oh God. From destruction, from calamity, from pain and from sorrow, oh God. Thank you for always standing tall for us. Thank you for being our rock, our pillar, our fortress, our strong tower. Thank you for being our rescuer, our redeemer, our savior. Thank you for being our advocate. Thank you for being everything that I ever need and it's all be from you. All because of you, we are still among the living. Thank you that we can smile again. Thank you that we can rejoice again. Thank you that we can praise you again. Thank you that we can love again. Thank you that we can forgive again because of you. Thank you for another chance, oh God, to make things better with you. Thank you for another moment, Father, to do things right, oh God. Thank you for another opportunity, oh God, oh, to turn to you, to not let it be our will by your will, oh Father. To you be all the glory, and to you be all the honor, and to you be all the praise, and to you be all the worshiper, and to you be all the adoration, and to you be all the praise. For you are glorious in all your ways. You are precious in all your ways. You are magnificent in all your ways. You are great in all your ways. There is no one. Shalande Bazika de Magada, for Zebran de Rahaba Santa Rabadea, Nema Kunde Regado so Parabadesha. You are Alpha, you are Omega. You are Alpha, you are Omega. Jesus, you are Alpha, you are Omega. There is no Ana mama sa na 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 na. 
I worship you, Jesus. I worship you, Yahweh. I ay 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 Eziga da bagandu ziga bande rebe hande rene na 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 masinte rebe gadosha lebo si pana na na. I love you, Lord. Yes, I love you, Lord. You are God. I say, God of Daniel, God of Joshua. God of Moses, God of Elijah, God of Elisha, God of Belema, Lende Kuna Raba Santa Yagada, Rekosko Brende Bosonto Rogobande, O Lende Ragazanda Ragabanda Gadada, God of Kathleen Coma, Nakonde Rababa Santa Ragadada, God of Smith with the Rubus Weta, Roshke Branda Ragadea, Aleke Tere Bason de Ragadea, Le Manan Nunana Nunebrende Gado Seramba Ragadea Gadea, Zedoza Legado, Zedegado, Zedegado. Without you, I am nothing, Jesus. Jesus, I am nothing without you, Lord. I say without you, I am nothing, Lord. Without you, Jesus, I am nobody. Without you, Father, I am nobody. Without you, Yahweh, I am nobody. Without you, Jesus, I am nobody. Without you, Father, I am nobody. Without you, Adonai, I am nobody. Without you, I am nobody. Yes, we are. You are the, You are God. We love you. We love you. Wherever you are connected from around the world, 
the Lord is good. He's good all the time. Our Lord is marvelous and excellent and he's holy, he's righteous, he's pure. He's always rejoicing, he's always, you know, always rejoicing. So he commands us to do the same thing. So just to go back, recap on what we said earlier, on what we were talking about earlier. First Thessalonians 5 verse 16. And 8, 16, right? We read 16 and we read, um, let me see here. Yeah, so I was right. So 1 Thessalonians verse 5, chapter 5, verse 16. 1 Thessalonians, Nakushka Raga brother. I'm too excited. I need to relax. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So as we said earlier, 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 16. Rejoice evermore. Always be joyful. Always be excited. Always be pleasing to God. Always be in a good mood. Always, always rejoice, right? And then when we go down, if you read verse, um, verse 18, it says, be thankful in all circumstances, all situations, for this is God's will for you who belong to Jesus Christ. So you that call yourself a Christian, you that call yourself a child of God, you that call yourself saved, you that call yourself saint, God is saying, this is a command. That we should always rejoice or we should always be thankful. We should always be praising and honoring God and appreciating God. Uh, no matter... Like no matter the situation, no matter the, the work, the trouble of the enemy, no matter the what the enemy is doing to us, no matter how the problem looks bad, we should always rejoice, we should always be excited, we should always praise him, we should always honor him and acknowledge him. He said no matter the matter, we should always be grateful. And I gave many examples. If you are always rejoicing, you are always excited, you're always bubbly, you're always just happy in it. like you know you're always happy no matter what when somebody approaches you and tells you good morning for example you are responding with excitement but whenever you are cr like grumpy like whenever you are sad you are whenever you are angry you're always sad all the time you're complaining all the time whining all the time when somebody comes and say good morning brother good morning sister Man, you will get angry because you're already moody. You will get angry because you're already sad. You will get angry like, what's so good about this day? Why are you telling me good morning? What's so good about this morning? Man, do you know what I'm going through? Do you know the problem I'm facing? Do you know my sickness? Do you know my problem? Who told you this, this day is good? Who told you this afternoon, this evening is good? What's so good about today? You're going to be so grumpy. If I, you're going to even go off more. But whenever you are rejoicing, when you are rejoicing evermore, you are always joyful in the presence of the Lord. Somebody can come and call you, hey, you are stupid. And you'll be like, oh, really? Thank you very much. God bless you. You will even, you will even bless the person for saying that to you. Because you are happy in the Lord. You are excited in the Lord. You are rejoicing in the Lord. And you know that you are not stupid. You know that you are not what, the, what people are thinking you are. You know that you know what God has said about you. You are not concerned. You understand? Your attention is not on men. Your attention is not on problems. Your attention is not on situation. Your attention is not on that circumstance. But when you make your circumstance... When you pay attention to your circumstance, when you pay attention to your problem, to your sickness, to your pain, when you pay attention to that one that is hurting you, that one that is making you sad, that one that is doing this to you, you're always going to be grumpy and you're going to miss a lot of blessings. You, like you're missing it out and you may end up at the hospital, you may end up being sick, you, uh, you may end up, uh, end up on medication because you're overdoing yourself. Why would God tell us to rejoice always, rejoice evermore? Because it's good for our health. It brings blessings. It also draws the enemies away from us. It drives the enemy from us. As you are rejoicing, your enemies are sad. When you are sad, it makes your enemies to rejoice. So it's important that you remain always rejoicing. So your enemies will remain always sad. 
It is important that you're always smiling, you're always excited, you're always happy. No matter the matter, no matter the problem, no matter the circumstance, no matter the situation, no matter the assignment of the enemy over your life. It is important that you're always rejoicing and celebrating. It is important that we're always laughing because guess what? Our laughter and our joy and our, like, you know, our joyfulness, if that even makes sense, our joy drives our enemies away. Remember earlier, the enemy only rejoice when you are sad. The enemy is not happy. Okay? The enemy is not happy when you, when you are rejoicing. So you must always rejoice to make your enemies unhappy. We must always be thankful to make our enemies unhappy. We must always be, you know, always be like, like in the state, in the mood of thanksgiving. To make our enemies sad. And God also said, fear not, fear not, fear not. So the Bible is always telling us not to fear, not to fear. God is always telling us, don't fear, don't be afraid. Why do you think he's telling us not to be afraid? If you read 2 second, second, um, Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, it says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear and of and timidity, but of power, love, and of self-discipline. Okay, let me check other versions here. Another version, the Passion Translation says, For God will never give you the spirit of fear, but the Holy Spirit who gives you mighty power, love, and self-control. So we are not to fear because when we, are, when we are afraid, that is when the enemy comes in. That is when the enemy attacks. When we are afraid, that is when the enemy comes and gives us sadness. When we are afraid, that is when the enemy arises more against us. But the moment you are fearless, the moment you are bold, the moment you are powerful, you are strong, you silence the enemy. As you become fearless and powerful, your enemies become powerless. So God is saying, do not be afraid. In fact, I have not given you the spirit of fear, but what have I given you is of power, of boldness, of sound mind, and of love. So when we are fearless and powerful and bold, we, put, we place the enemy where they belong, which is under our feet. We place our enemies under our feet, which is where they belong, according to the word of God. He said in Luke 10, 19, Behold, I have given you the power and the authority to trample over snakes and scorpions. And nothing shall by any way mean, hurt you. So where the enemies belong is under our feet to trample over them, to crush them, to destroy them, to break them. To disarm them to dismantle them the moment we become fearful then they are able to attack then they are able to strike then they they are able to plunder us but when we are fearless and we are bold they have become afraid of us they become fearful of us so we should be the one making the enemies fearful of us not the enemy making us fearful of them so god has given us a commandment and it's a mandate that we must obey Yes, it is a mandate that we must obey. Even if you read it in the book of Revelation, being fearful may, may even take you to hell. Oh, yes. Raka parabaziga da raga bada da da braga da le bo shanda raga boshke brehe kusko ne na mazaga da le pana masonde reka ponde rege deya. Our God is a good God and He's always talking to us, always making sure that we are aligned with Him, always making sure that we do not miss our mark. He does not want us to miss any mark that He has given unto us. You understand? So we must always be joyful.
Hey, Arabo Sataragabushki Handa. Lande Rababa Sadig Agagur Rande Gedera Bababa. Le Kunda Namakunde Rege Duskia. The Lord is awesome. God is good. God is wonderful. God is excellent. God is, hey, God is beautiful. God is magnificent. God is Elohim all by himself. He is the King of kings and the Lord is of lords. Alima Sundaragadubra Hakashka Nikunde Rehebo Shigadi Gadiagada Nazende de Babu Zontonik in Makana Nanana Lepana Masende de Kundi Akushka Adabaskundada Reko Sike Panda Ragade Regedea Ajende ne Makuze Banduza Ha 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 Le Makunde Rega Aduzge Rebreke Terekete God doesn't want us to be afraid. God doesn't want us to panic about our every little thing. God doesn't want us to be sad. God doesn't want us to be timid. God doesn't want us to be all stocked up, all grumpy. No, that is not his will. Hallelujah. God bless you all in the name of Jesus, wherever you are. I am grateful to God for your life. I'm grateful to God that we are all still among the living. We give him all the praise and all the honor and all the adoration. To God be all the praise. To God be all the honor. To God be all the adoration. To God be all the glory. To God be all the glory. And we thank him for everything he has done for us. And we thank him for all that he does for us. We thank him for keeping us alive. We thank him for feeding us. You see, God did not keep us alive only. He kept us alive. He made sure he he clothed us. Uh, he sheltered us. Uh, he provided for us. He protected us. Uh, he's healing us and delivering. God is not just keeping you and not alive. No. He keeps you alive. Then he clothes you. He shelters you. Provides for you. Gives you something to drink. He gives you all that you need to make sure that you are comfortable for the day. To make sure that you are comfortable for the day. And he does that day by day. Every day has its own blessings. Every day has his own glory. Every day has his own strength. Every day has his own everything. So everything that we have, whatever we have acquired, whatever we have, whatever we are holding, however we are, it is by the will of God, by the grace of God. So I need to remind you that always rejoice. Always rejoice. Rejoice forevermore. Rejoice evermore. Rejoice evermore. And for this is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. So we must rejoice always. We must appreciate him always. And we must glorify him always. So wherever you are, God bless you all mightily. In the mighty precious name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory. I'm going to let you go off here. Shalom.